welcome back to our fam. I'm doing my best here to do some type of Halloween special. So as you see, I got a couple of my props that I've collected throughout the years as well as some crazy smoke going on here. Um, I hope that's okay. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot to uh, start the inferno over here. What's going on with me? Now there we go, because that wouldn't look like a Halloween without some candles lit up into the pumpkin there. You can't leave him out, the 1999 Chucky doll. His face is always what bugs me out. When people see the face, that ends it all. Honestly, if I would have bought that in store and I didn't find it at the thrift store all messed up like that and I did my best to fix it up, it wouldn't look as scary as it looks like now. But it's definitely a blessing in disguise. So before we get into it, make sure to like, comment down below your favorite Halloween experience. If it was this year, if it was years before, whatever you want to put, I want to know down there. Plus, if you have any other Halloween collectible, like check out this one, 1998 Halloween tea. Always stashed up in the collection, but you know me always keeping things. Also with that, if you didn't know, I have a Depop shop. Link is down below. Go check it out. Now, this episode, it's going to be a very short episode. I'm actually making this just to say happy Halloween to everybody out there. Whatever, if you do not celebrate Halloween, if you do, have a safe happy Halloween. I understand for some people, it's just a regular Monday. And for a lot of people, it is. But remember, a lot of the adults out there, they're going to go crazy tonight. I have no idea. A lot of the parties were on the weekend, but some of them are today. So be safe. It is a Monday. You get what I'm saying? Let's get in that thrift. Wishing everybody a happy Halloween, but uh, we do got the 1998, from 1978 to 1998, got a 20 year uh, t-shirt for Halloween, the movie. And we're, in, we're not here just to talk about the shirt. I did find also the, so we got a little deal going on here. So this is 3 dollars with 25% off going on. July 4th, 1999, into the millennium for 2000 T, and it's got a double side, yes. A little bit worn for wear. Look at the neckline. Look at that uh, iced tea neck, if you know what I'm talking about, but on that ribbon line. But it's a nice tee overall to find this, um, to find this t-shirts where there's like a deal going on. Usually they're gonna be kind of picked out. One thing though, one thing is that I've been eyeing some Salvatore Ferragamo loafers that have been there for a while at first they were 100 bucks they were behind the counter in the case now i see them they're actually still in the counter but now they're marked down to 50 and there's a 25 percent discount going on today so this could be a halloween come up i'm hoping to pull out something pull out a win here so i have to go check it out and let's see how uh, good condition they are or not we'll pull the trigger we're loafers yes They've been here for a while, right? Yeah, I remember. Oh, okay, 13. Yeah, but the other day I lost one, one, two, 18. Oh my god. 18 God. shoe, you had a size 18, someone bought it? $12 last sale. Um, yeah, okay, I'll get it. And the shirt, yeah. Perfect, perfect. The hookup right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is Halloween, so, all right. There we go. An awesome come up at the thrift store. Again, it is Halloween. Going out, doing the best I can. And I just gotta say, thank you to the thrift because this one, I thought flew away a long time ago and I had my eye on it. Hopefully this is in focus, right? I had my eye on this. This was actually for a hundred bucks at first off and then it dropped down to 50 and then even that, it's 25% off today. So I jumped on it and it's an awesome piece. Again, this is a Salvatore Ferragamo and this is the newer stuff. This is the stuff I usually do not come up on. I usually come up on the older stuff. I'm so used to the older stuff. These soles, I just gotta talk about those soles because I love the traction pads on it. And that's the logo I was talking about, the Gansinis, this right here. I actually found some Salvatore Ferragamo, just the loafer itself. This was missing. This hardware was missing off of it. And each one is different. I have like, two or three in the collection and like five I've already sold off. That is the crazy part about these because finding them, a lot of people didn't really, you know, do that. It was all about t-shirts. But finding a lot of the shoes and a lot of the other stuff in here, it's always good brushing up on a lot of the things that some people just overlook. In this case, these are, you know, high-end loafers. Again, I wish they were my size, size 13. So these are not my size. They are going up on my Depop. Link is down below, go check it out. So right in the middle right here, Salvatore Ferragamo. And it's got the pads and you can see some wear here. And this is cool seeing the uh, little newer stuff because all the older stuff I have, but the quality of the leather in here, the Italian leather, I just love it. Again, everything is legit. Everything is correct. Did a little cleanup on them, not too much. I did clean the leather, just treated it a little bit. And what, and what they had on the inside was actually a heel cover. So a lot of people will wear these and you know, they kind of fit a little tight. 
they're like dress shoes they're more loafers but they're dress shoes kind of so when you put them on you got to either have a shoehorn or something like that and this one had a heel pad on the inside so i took it off and everything cleaned up really well um that is pretty much all it needed it was a cleanup i'll do some deodorizing maybe some steaming on the inside get it to a comfortable selling position and i'll throw them up on there but i just gotta say thank you to the thrift again it was halloween and they were nice enough to let me film as you saw the uh, worker right in the front there uh, dressing the sugar skull stuff so like i said that's pretty much it i did push out this video i didn't really plan it enough to do a halloween special like i wanted to but it's something i put up on halloween so it brings me down and with that i'm just gonna say what i always say hit that sub button because my videos are coming this was mick from fresh Happy Halloween, everyone.